What up guys, welcome back to the vlog. We are here at Irwindale Speedway for Formula Drift and it is the last Formula Drift event of the year. It is a big one. Everybody comes out to it, especially here in SoCal. People from all over brought their cars and where we are right now is the Turn 14 Hit and Paddock Performance Car Invitational. You can see Turn 14 has got the semi out here. Brought some showstopper cars out. Got Dai Ojihara's car right here, kind of front and center. And behind us, a whole sea of really cool cars. You can already hear the drift cars in the background starting to pop off. This is one of my favorite cars here in Southern California. It is an insanely clean 240. It's got the Nismo LMGT one wheels, with the endless brakes, really super clean car. I saw this one earlier at Hot Import Nights uh, earlier this year and uh one of my favorite cars here for sure but everywhere i turn there are more incredible cars uh like the kenji the kenji civic gretty there's nsx of course i brought my car out we have the man the myth the legend dai Yoshihara here getting ready to do all of his die things ride-alongs <laughs> you could have entered to win this if you wouldn't have slept on it it's gonna be pretty cool and uh we've got R33 GTR, this one came from us. Uh, Lewis, uh, who works with Larry Chen, bought this one from us. We've got a really cool S2000 here. We got RWB, this beautiful M Spec NUR. This thing is so sick. We've started importing these under shower display already. So these have been a really, really popular car, uh, especially as a way to get one prior to them turning 25 years old. But that will soon uh, be closing in early because we're only two months away from importing r34 gtrs and here we are for our last but not least we have the top rank die gretty turn 14 r33 gtr which you guys have seen a million times on my channel i'm sure already but always one of my favorite cars to see really love this car and um who knows maybe one day i'll be selling it to somebody who sees it on this channel we got Gretty set up over here. Check this guy out, just straight cooling. Look at this Momo wheel. Y'all see that? That's crazy, that's new. All sorts of new stuff over here. New collabs dropping all the time. And then just casually this R33 GTR that just got all Gretty'd up. Got a nice RV in it, big single turbo. This one tower bar. And of course, that whole Gretty look with the Gretty stripe down the back looking so good someday dude someday i'm gonna gretty out one of my cars to the fullest right in front of me is an industry icon a true legend a globe trotting <laughs> this dude is in a different country that i've never heard of all of the time he's like i'm looking at like the hottest builds in denmark <laughs> and shit well let's Hello friends. That, that is an amazing <laughs> description. It's about 67% true. But, but uh, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. I'm in Brussels right now with my boy. <laughs> I was low-key in Brussels uh, like know. six yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, the Nürburgring in Germany, uh, the Netherlands, Belgium, and, and Holland. So, so well, yeah. that Holland is You don't know this but... big Mike. Uh, a lot of people know him. From, as a TV star what? on Richard Rollins' <laughs> Gas Monkey Garage, but he's done so much more. And uh, definitely check out Think Big. <laughs> this is the garage, dude. What is happening right now? I've never had someone hit these various points of my life in one time. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, I. Uh, whatever he said is is essentially almost all true. It's all mostly semi-accurate. <laughs> All right, but in all seriousness, things are underway here at the pit paddock tent. You can see a good amount of dye stuff pulled up right here. You can come here and meet dye. See, we got the little top rank hat here with the dye 33. Little shirt, not bad. I actually don't even have one of those yet, so I'm gonna have to get one. Look who I found! Oh, I'm Monty! Today you're gonna be in my vlog. Really? Oh, yes, I'm, I'm yes, for you. yes. I filmed with you the other day, now you have to film with me. What? This is my, How do you like Formula Drift? 
awesome, very nice. Uh, we saw the battle between Asbo and, and Castro it was amazing. Uh, and well, now we are seeing lots of funny cars. Lots of funny Various. cars. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 I miss yeah, your okay. Supra, okay? Jonathan, you there? Yeah. yeah. So. There's a Supra uh, MK4 here competing too. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And drifting. Nice. nice. Look at He's filming right now. Yeah. We should go interrupt him. While you've got a break in the action, oh, right. I gotta say, we're, I'm filming you today. Okay, yeah, okay, all we're right. On the other side of the camera today. Man, how's it going? It's been great, dude. It's been an awesome day. We've been making changes in the car that's been progressing big time, which is something that sometimes doesn't go that way. As you know, we tried something, never worked, but uh, this time we, the last, actually, this last three rounds has been awesome in that aspect. The car has been moving really good, the things are moving really good. And specifically this round, we found a very good setup. So feeling very strong. We just run against my good friend, brother, and I almost call the mentor, Freddie Asbo, which is a, a driver that I admire a lot. And uh, he just made a small mistake, which was what really caused the race. And uh, that's, that was make a big difference. And that's why we took the win. Uh, so we're now getting ready to prep for the next round and trying to take all the way to the top of the podium. All right, all right. Nice, yeah, so we filmed with my my Toyota earlier this week, my Supra, <laughs> and now we get to see your Toyota, yep. which is very impressive. And this thing is so cool. Thank wow. you, thank you, thank you. You know a lot, of, a lot about cars. So I do, I, I do. I, I take that as a big compliment in my end. Oh. So you, you, the person who you are, saying that is a, is a big compliment. So yeah. enjoy it. I hope you can drive it one day. Oh, I would love to. You know, it's great about this car is that it performs very well, obviously, and uh, it looks phenomenal too. It's yeah. great, right? Yeah, That's I, like. I don't like the car to be too noisy. I like the car to be very clean. Uh huh. That's why it kind of keep with the stable carbon uh, spoiler here. You have the stock bumper. So you have some things here and there. But I try to keep it as a clean car, good looking with muscles, but not too over something that I really, I really enjoy doing. Awesome, and I gotta say, man, coolest trailer <laughs> out of everyone's trailer here. That is so amazing, that's so great. Nice, awesome, man. Well, good luck in the next round, and we'll be rooting for you. Thank you, man. We are here uh, on the track. Oh, see, we're down here. Oh, you missed your shot. And uh, down here, you can see we've got some traditional things going on, and of course, the cars coming through. Thing. It's pretty cool. So we're right here. Are, uh, right down here uh, with all the drivers and the cars. Getting a look at what the lineup looks like right now for the top 32. One of the more popular cars here, Chris Forsberg in the new Z. All right, it is about to get underway here, the top 32. So you can hear the music is turning up behind me. They're getting set for the national anthem. Things are live on TV now. So you can see the crowd behind us is very big. And down below, all the cars and drivers getting ready here. To start their engines right out this national anthem and knock this top 32 out to 16, then to eight, then to four. And then we're gonna find out who the winner is of Irwindale along with the winner of the Formula D season of 2023. See what we can film from here on out, but should be a good time. So we are upstairs, heading to the box, ran into RJ. Yep. Look at this guy. Big week coming up for you, sir. Big month. Big month. Yeah. yeah, I know. Payoff is going to be huge. Another successful SEMA. See you guys later. See you later. See you All right, and I'll inside take you we go. So we are up here in the box. And so like I said, people kind of time their time and what things up maybe even shaking. So I have the distinct honor of being. Alright, so 
What's happening outside right now is we're about to find out if Chelsea Denofa is going to win. Uh, this battle that's happening right now is going to dictate who the winner of the 2023 All right, it's been a really long day. Uh, we are in the absolute final uh, round here, so we're going to find out who the winner is of Formula D. Uh, Irwindale, we already know Chelsea won the whole thing, but uh, whoever wins this next round wins this race. And uh, it will be the end of our night here at Formula D. It's very tired. Look forward to going home. But I'm excited to see who wins. So let's turn it around, see who the winner is. All right, well that wraps up Formula Drift. Really super long day. I'm pretty tired. Are you pretty tired? Uh, it goes without saying. <laughs> goes without saying. But uh, congratulations, Nick Novak, uh, tonight at Irwindale. Uh, congratulations. And uh, we are headed back to the Turn 14 truck right now where it looks like there's a few stragglers left, but uh, I'm probably not gonna hang out uh, anymore after this. So uh, we're moving into the Supra, letting this dude just do his photo shoot right now with my car. And then uh, <laughs> and we're gonna hang it up for the night. Um, and maybe a chill day tomorrow. Maybe Wackfest, who knows? <laughs>